Greetings, Sean here at Mahalo Apps with a review of Keynote for the iPad. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe below. Keynote is an application developed by Apple for the iPad that allows you to create amazing presentations with just the tap of your finger. Upon opening the application, you're greeted with a getting started presentation. This presentation does a great job at showing the abilities of Keynote. With Keynote, you can move slide arrangement in your presentation. Cut, copy, delete, and skip a slide with just one tap. Editing text is as easy as double tapping the object. And with two taps, I can copy an object. Moving items is as simple as tap and hold. To rotate an object, I just use two fingers, tap and hold. With just three taps, I can add an object to this slide. With another three taps, I can change the color of this object. And changing a chart is as easy as double tapping the chart. Keynote also has many ways to animate objects and slides, with the ability to decide how objects enter and exit, and how the slides animate themselves. With all these tools, you can create a professional presentation with pictures, graphs, shapes, and animations. Then when you're done, just tap through your presentation. For example, I'll create a three slide presentation using one of the preset templates. All I have to do is tap on the template I want, add a few slides from the template, and modify it to my choosing. For instance, remove a text box and add an arrow, then I'll change the style of the arrow, and then edit the text title at the top. I'll also add a chart to my last slide and then add a few animation styles and we're ready to view. Although the iPad version of Keynote is not as robust as its desktop cousin, it does have a very intuitive design for the touchscreen. Every action has a natural feel to it and that makes it easy to modify objects and navigate the application. Even with Keynote's shortcomings in comparison to the desktop version, it does very well on the iPad. That's why I give Keynote for the iPad a 5 out of 5.